Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I wanted to know, so, because um, in the whole conversation you're talking about, you always mention your wifey. So how important was it to have her by your side Man, during the is. whole transition? Man, just, she kind of kept me grounded. You know what I'm saying? It's when, when you get to a certain point in your life to where you and kind of like and your, how old were you when she came into your life uh, my sophomore year in college so okay. we've been together almost 10 12 years okay yeah. so I, I i call it like your godly form like when you come into that godly form in a sense of saying like this is god's purpose for you mm -hmm. when you come into that form uh the people around you can be yes man they can be not saying my, my circle was mm -hmm. they can be yes man it you can you can you can do what you want to do mm -hmm. and there's no precaution to it and you can be that person because when i was outside e everybody loved me everybody showed me love oh that's that's him that's him but when you come home to your your girl your wife it's like nah boy you you need to do this <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying you tripping you need mm -hmm. to so to kind of have that always there throughout my whole career man i didn't do a whole bunch of partying i didn't throw away a lot of my money so at the end of the day i can honestly say man my wife probably saved me 10 million dollars and you always valued her opinion and i always value I, I i always i always try to make her uh a equal to me mm -hmm. I, I i never put my money over her head i never put who i was over over my head because we always made decisions together Dope, and you know then I mean? also, because I know that going into the NFL, or, you know, you have those women out there, oh, the <laughs> NFL player, I'm going, because yeah. I'm going to be his wife, I'm going yeah. this, I'm going that. So I know you had all those ladies probably trying to hit on you and yeah, stuff like for that. Sure. How did you handle that? And, you know, because you have. Yeah. We see all those scandals. We see all of those problems. Don't tell her everything. Man. No, I don't tell but, her everything. But, but. <laughs> because, then, <laughs> because then you have those people who get caught up in situations like yeah. that. How can they prevent that? Yeah, that's dope. How can you prevent that? It's really just, it's really just, man, the decisions that you make, just not putting yourself in, in, in that situation because I feel like a situation can get overwhelming and to a point to where it's kind of out of control. I never put myself in a situation to where I wasn't in control. Uh, and I can really say that through over my whole period of time. And for me, E, like, you know what I mean? If, if a party is going on and if I ain't feeling it, like, I'm like, man, I'm, I, I leave. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, and I sure. think that's the difference because, and I ain't going out of my way for nobody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I think my advice it's just don't put yourself in that situation. If you know any kind of hate or harm can come out of the situation, why even put yourself in that situation? You know what I'm saying? So I think that's kind of helped me throughout my whole career. I want to get into the entrepreneurship yeah, a little bit. I want to get out. Let's talk a little bit about exiting the NFL and how that affected you, man, because I know it couldn't have been easy because you love football yeah. so much. Um, it, it, man, in all honesty, I can say it was easy to me. It was easy. Like it was, it was easy to me just because I had, I had accepted. Uh, I came to a point to where I accepted what I did for the NFL and and my opportunity and my short window. And you heard my story, man. Mm -hmm. it, it was just so tiring. Yeah. Uh, keep having to prove myself and prove myself. But I came to a point to where I accepted it that, I mean, I did everything that I was supposed to do in this life. Now it's time for me to to change somebody else's life. Like I've hit my, you know what I mean, my totem pole and my goals and I've got where I needed to be. Now it's time for me to touch Emmanuel. It's time, if I can touch y'all, it's time for me to touch, touch y'all. It's time for me to uh, give something more valuable than money is my time. Yeah. So yeah. now it's, it's, it's my time to, to pour into my people. Yeah. Well, like I said, um, you couldn't wrote this out, man. Right. No, ain't no way in hell. <laughs> right. couldn't, nobody couldn't wrote this right, out. I right. mean, I it's couldn't. Do, if I'd have knew, I'd have came to every football yeah, game. Yeah, nigga, yeah. nigga I've been chanting. <laughs> but that's not the way God wanted it. Yeah. So I never wanted to play that part. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I looked at it. I'm going to be yeah. honest with you. When we was coming to Atlanta that time, I remember I was trying to oh, link yeah, up with you. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. just like, you know, if it happened, it happened. But if it don't, it don't. Yeah. I still love you. But I understand. You got a mission you got to do. Right. And then me, you know, I'm hustle yeah. mania. Yeah. I got my own thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to figure this out. Yeah. Like, okay, life is something else. No matter what you throw at me, 
I'm gonna make it out of something. Mm-hmm. And that's the difference, E. That's the difference, like uh, because when when you got two friends who's grinding towards their goals and what they trying to do, they don't get caught up in the bullshit. I'm sorry, they don't Good. get caught up in the bullshit in the sense of, uh. Man, he ain't pick up the phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or uh, man, he, he he Hollywood. Or man, he's changed. Yeah. Because dog, I'm grinding, dog. Yeah. Like, I already you know, know what I'm saying. Like, okay, I see you calling, but shit, let me get this last set. Yeah. And this last set done turned into an hour, and then from that hour, I went into my entrepreneurship, and that turned into another hour. So at the end of the day, man, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? And I I I, I forgot to hit you back, but that doesn't mean I don't love you. Exactly. So also, that means you're not working as hard as me. That's you know right. what I'm saying? If you waiting you on me. Yeah. Yeah. You got too hands. much time. You got too much time on your hands, dog. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, and that's what I've already respected about you, <laughs> he has always kept it so, you know what I mean? A hundred work, man. Because he he, he grinded. He was yeah. his own boss. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Bosses, bosses relate to other bosses. Right. You know no, what I'm man. saying? And we supposed to be in a room with each other and sit at the dinner table together and eat with each other. You know what I'm saying? And create other bosses. So exactly. I can't I can't thank you. And yeah. I'm gonna keep it up. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I, I like I said, I, I respect the fact of what position God put me in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People For don't sure. look self awareness again. So. Self awareness is important. My wife, she had my back this whole time. You've yeah. been seeing her ever since and you was I've a kid. And I seen that. I seen that with and you. Yeah, I seen that with like, you for sure. Without her, I wouldn't be who I am right, right. now. So I know that, and I love you. Nah. Yeah, let's get it popping. <laughs> <laughs> so it might go down tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, and I and I seen it. Well, it's so crazy because uh, it's just the influence of you seeing you grinding with your with your lady. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And as me, you it's good to see that, and I know that's normal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got so many people who uh, get into position and you never see their first lady. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, and yeah. to see your first lady, your first lady's not just working, she's yeah. right beside right you. Right beside you me. You know man. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like as a man, you need that, dog. Definitely, man. But you see, that. like, um, you're younger, so, like, for me growing up, I know what you see it even more because the women were supposed to be at home right, or, yeah. you know, behind the scenes. Right, right. They might have been in the business, but they weren't seen. It was right. mainly the men who were in front doing, right. doing what they do. Right. But I don't know if it was because of Jay-Z, Beyonce, or even power <laughs> couples yeah, yeah, and yeah, celebrities. Yeah. Like, it became a thing where yeah. all of a sudden everybody on social media was showing more, you know, power couples, yeah. them grinding together. So you, it, it's more prevalent now in today's society. Than but the difference, be. but the difference is when 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 you pick a partner, you pick a partner. You know what I'm saying? And the difference is with y'all when you picked your partner, you wasn't just picking her just off her looks. No, you was picking her because of her mind. You knew what she could bring to you. You know what I'm saying? Now, E, uh, I think we should do it this way. Someone that can correct you even when you was wrong well, and it, you can respect it. You know what I'm saying? I wrote a letter to God, man. <laughs> Being real. He did. Maybe I need to write yeah, a letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wrote a letter and I, I should, appreciate it. I should have been more, res- more pretty much detailed <laughs> on what I wanted. I just said I want a pretty woman. I can't look at an ugly woman all day, God. Yeah, I, see. I need a woman that's going to help me when I need her and, and, yeah. and he did. He gave me everything I asked yeah. for and more. So, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.